Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Buzzsaw Tax Tip Tuesday, powered by Duckett Lad CPAs and Advisors. Jared Duckett, back at you with my business partner, Buzzsaw. I'm Buzzsaw, what's happening, my friend? Hey, Jared. I'm doing good, man. How are you doing? I'm doing good, man. I think, um, you know, I was kind of always just brainstorming, right, topics for these Tax Tips Tuesdays. And most of the time, to be honest, they come from conversations with our existing clients. And it's kind of getting this question a couple of times, actually, last week. And it's the question like, hey, what is a cost segregation study? You know, you kind of hear that, that term out there all the time. And a lot of people know in depth what it is. People, other people are like, I have no idea what that means. I hear people talking about it. What does that mean? So, but so let's just take three or four minutes here and just kind of hit a very high level perspective. What is a cost segregation study? How would you explain that? Yeah, so a cost segregation study is a, a formal study done by um, an engineering group. Um, and what they do is they will break out the components of your building. You know, when you think of it, you've got, you know, from the bricks on the outside to the furniture and cabinets on the inside and the flooring and all of that can have different um, depreciation useful lives when you're looking at the tax code. And so what the cost seg does is it breaks out all those components into a formal report which then allows you to take depreciation on each of those different um, types of components in your building. And, and a lot of that depreciation can get put into um, an accelerated useful life to where you get that benefit quicker. Yeah, no, that's well said. I mean, the study, let, let's use an example. I've always got to go to examples. Let's use an example, dental practice building, right? If you're a dental practice owner out there, you own the real estate, you're renting it to yourself, that sort of thing. If you think about it, what makes up that dental practice building is a whole lot of things. I mean, you, you, of course, have the land, right? Real estate always has to sit on dirt. I don't think I've ever seen one that doesn't. So anyway, you got a piece of land that you're going to have to break out. That's non-depreciable. But then everything else in that building, you know, is, is made up of all kinds of stuff. That's not just, you know, a set life, you know, for that building. But it's like you said, the furnishings, the FF and E, of course, you got dental equipment that's kind of mm -hmm. on the side that's not attached to the building, you know, but a lot of times people um, on their depreciation schedule will just break out the land and then break out the building. And the downside to that buzzsaw is that that building is depreciated on a longer life, you know, a span. Yeah. 39, other, 39 years. Think about that, right? Yeah. So you got a million dollar, again, million dollar dental practice building after you break out the land. One thirty ninth every year is the depreciation you're going to get. OK, and depreciation is a deduction. So you want that deduction as quickly as possible. Time value of money. OK. And so by breaking that out into lower life assets, splitting almost the way to say it is, is my simple brain works is you're going to split the cost of that building out into smaller chunks that you can take quicker. Is that right, Bussell? Yeah, that's exactly right. If you can take some of those chunks uh, from your total building cost and move them out of that 39 year life into a 15 or five year life, you're gonna get that depreciation a lot quicker and that depreciation offsets your ordinary income from your dental practice. Mm -hmm. You're exactly right. And, and to kind of piggyback, and we're not gonna go down a rabbit hole here, but piggyback off the benefits of five and 15 years, not only is that a shorter time frame, but then bonus depreciation comes in. You know, bonus depreciation is taking the, 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 the amount that you're putting in that five and 15 year and taking it in one year, mm -hmm. which could be huge, right? Yeah, exactly. So, and I'll say this here is you don't, let me ask you this question, Buzzsaw. Do you have to do a cost segregation study only in the year it's placed in service? Yeah, no, you don't. So if you placed it in service, you know, five years ago and you put everything to 39 years, you can get a cost sex study done today and then you can file a change in accounting method. We'll get into all the details there, but you can actually amend um, the way you've uh, been depreciating those shorter lived assets. Yeah, you're exactly right. So I think that that's good, Buzzsaw, what we did. Literally, the study is something performed. We don't do it in-house here at Duckett Lad. We refer that to specialists that do it. We facilitate the process. But more importantly, what we do is then once we see how much depreciation can be accelerated, put it into your specific tax plan to see how it can benefit. Because everybody's situation is different. Just throw that caveat out there. Everybody's different. 
but the whole mindset is to get as much depreciation up front. Again, you're deferring taxes. Depreciation is a deferral method. But again, just get you more money up front and not pay as much taxes so you can utilize that money and put that money to work you know, mm -hmm. for yourself. So anyways, if you guys have questions on cost segregation studies, let us know. Um, but that's really what it is, just a study to break down you know, exactly what that real estate's made up of to accelerate depreciation. Mm -hmm. So perfect. Buzz, saw any lasting uh, comments to our viewers here? I mean, just look at your depreciation schedules. If you got those, sometimes they're included in the return. See, uh, see how your building was broken out when it was placed in service and maybe a cost segregation study could help you out. That's it. That's the to-do. That's the Buzzsaw Tax Tip Tuesday to-do right there, guys. Look at that depreciation schedule. See what that looks like. If you have questions, ask your CPA about a cost segregation study. So perfect. Buzzsaw, appreciate you, buddy. Have you a bet. great week. Everybody out there, have a great weekend as well. Let us know how we can help. Take care. See you guys.